Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Super Mo here and I'm back with you guys brand new video on the channel. As you guys know about a tell video, I'll be showing you guys how to like fix Elgato lags or any like streaking or like lags that you got, uh, have in your Elgato. I'll be telling you guys how to fix it and the best Elgato settings for your laptop or your PC. So basically, well, this works for any Elgato, uh, any Elgato setup. So yeah, so uh, it works for any Elgato. Uh, I mean, just... You need to have an Elgato that connects to your Xbox One or Xbox 360, doesn't matter. But like, what you guys would want to do is you guys would want to get Elgato and then get an Elgato connected to your uh, Xbox. Then download the app, uh, Not it's basically an app, of the Elgato app. I have a link in the description down below where you guys can download it. So basically, like... Uh, I'm just gonna be showing you guys like uh, settings of like best settings uh, so your computer doesn't lag so like um, I want you guys to like uh, see what settings match for your computer I mean my computer is average so I'll probably go with like the average settings if your computer is best go with like a little over average don't go for like the comp uh, don't go over what your computer can handle because it's all lagging and stuff but yeah I'm just gonna go show you guys uh, best settings best average settings even though if you have a good computer you guys can still use the settings yeah your computer won't uh, take that much memory and all that stuff so starting off what you guys want to do is you guys want to go on your top right uh, game capture HD preferences just go in here and then what you guys want to do is you guys want to like uh, you guys can save this anywhere you want but like for me if you guys want flash by recording if you guys use flash by recording then use it but for me I have it disabled so I'm just gonna like so if it's enabled I recommend disabling it because it's just it makes it lag a lot so just disable it and then now uh, once you're done with that go on sharings and then sharings uh have this unchecked it's gonna be checked at first have this unchecked because it's gonna like make y'all got a lag and it'll take a lot of memory that's why you guys can just do this later convert it to mp4 file like later but yeah, so um, the rest of this, uh, and also check if your Elgato needs any update. Have the la latest update for Elgato will help your Elgato like not lag anymore. So yeah, and yeah, basically that's it. And then that's it for the top uh, preferences. And then now what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to your main device settings. Once you're on your device settings, uh, first on the capture page, select your uh, console. So mine's Xbox 360. Don't make fun of me. And yeah, so <laughs> I said don't make fun of me because I've been using this Xbox 360 for like, I don't even know, two or three years. More, more than that, but like, I don't know, but just don't roast me down in the comments below because I do not want to get roasted for Xbox 360, but, but I'm saving up for a PS4, so please don't roast me. Alright, <laughs> so uh, enough of that, and uh, for the video, input, you guys would want HD, um, HDMI because it's best quality. And yes, for the audio, uh, for the audio input, what you guys want to do is you guys want to uh, put it at HDMI audio. For the HDMI color range, just put it on standard. Just leave it at standard. And yeah, so uh, my uh, game capture is actually, it does not record at 60 FPS. I mean, it's a uh, HD 30 FPS. But if you are, if you are, if you have a H, uh, 60 FPS on Lado, put it at 60 FPS. But make sure, make sure you don't have a 1080 HPS, just have 720 uh, 60 FPS. If you put it at 1080, 60 FPS, um, you're, it will start lagging for sure. Unless if you have like the gaming PC or something like that. But I usually keep it unchecked. And yeah, for the profile, which you guys want, it's just HD 720. I go with that. That's the best settings. And if your computer, this um, uh, this goes with your computer. So like from good to better, it's like average. And then bad, a better to best is like high computer high computer range so if you have like a good good computer just keep it in between better and best don't keep it all the way to best because once your computer starts failing it will just be not it won't be that good so mine is at uh in the middle of good and better because my computer is like in the middle of good and better it's actually very good but i'm happy with what i have but like yeah so just keep it uh between good and better and yeah so you guys can just keep it wherever you want but keep it like uh below this uh below this bar right over here just keep it below this bar and if you have like a low computer, just keep it in between these two. And yeah, so it all depends on what your specs of your computer is basically. And yeah, so right now uh, here I have convert standard definition to six, uh, 640 by 480. I have this unchecked and uh, stretch standard definition input. I have this unchecked too. And yeah, so basically that's all you have to do in this um, thing. Uh, this is very good. Very good setup, and you won't like that much. So I recommend you guys keep it this, uh, keep it this uh, good. As you guys know, my Elgato uh, Elgato recording is actually pretty good quality. If you guys see my 
gaming videos like Call of Duty videos and all that stuff. It's pretty good. So I keep it at this. Give me, uh, it's gonna give me the best quality that my computer can handle. And yeah, so for pictures, don't do not change anything. For audio, don't change anything. Basically, just you don't need to mess with it. And then for profile, you don't need to do anything either. And for advanced. Uh, you don't need to do anything. Just keep it at two or three. Uh, it, just, it, depend, it depends on your TV or monitor compatibility. Com compatibility. I, I just keep it at two. And yeah, so once you're done, once you're done with this, uh, basically do not put it on mobile. Just put it at HD 720, and then uh, basically that's the settings. And once you're done with that, just click OK. So pretend I click OK. And yeah, so it's gonna exit out of here. And then for this, just have like. All your things set up, live stream set up, just like live stream set up, and then game audio and live commentary. What you guys would want to do is you guys want to want to keep it at 65. Game audio probably at like 22. It depends how how loud your how loud people get. And yeah, so I recommend just keep it at, uh, between 70 and under because if you go on this red bar, it, your voice is gonna sound like broom broom, broom like it's gonna start like making noises, like weird noises. Like it's gonna change your voice and make it like bad. That's why. So now, uh, that's actually basically all the things you have to do to make your Elgato stop lagging. And yeah, so basically, um, I have like two more things to say is, uh, have the automatically reduced game sound check because you get, uh, when you're talking and someone else talks, someone else and your friend talks, your both voices will like be combined and like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be that good. So just have this, uh, check. Lastly, the thing I want you guys to show, uh, show you guys is when you're recording your Elgato, um, you don't need this on unless if you want to see uh, someone's uh, voice getting recorded or something. But have this able in it, uh, unmute it, unmute because uh, you guys can hear it and then your commentary will get messed up and all that stuff. So I just have it mute. I usually put this this on mute too. But if you guys hit like a clip in a video or something, you guys just click here, take a screenshot and all that stuff. But like, yeah. So I'm just gonna unclick it, unclick this, and then once you're starting to record, first click the record button, and then wait about like two three seconds. And then once you get to like two three seconds, then click on the commentary button and then start uh, start talking basically. And once you're done, uh, click uh, the commentary button, then stop recording. That way your Elgato like syncs all your audio into the recording. Uh, so like uh, that way your Elgato like syncs all your recording on the game, like in the in the commentary. It won't like glitch out your audio, won't make any noises. So make sure you do that. What I just showed you guys. Guys, so if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to your channel, and comment down below something nice or like comment down below like if it worked and your Elgato is ha um the quality is improved or something like that. But like yeah, so it's been your boy Supermo here. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, peace.